Every year, the draft features a prospect that flies under the radar of all NBA teams, only to end up being a diamond in the rough. Whether it be a late first round pick or second round steal, these players have proven that where you're selected doesn't define what you're capable of. Enter 2020 NBA draft prospect Mason Jones, a player that I believe has all the tools to be the best all around scorer that this class has to offer. After taking the SEC by storm this past season, Jones has started gaining the attention of scouts all over the NBA, showcasing a pro-ready skill set that rivals many of the NBA's top scorers already. Now with the spotlight on his game, it's time for Mason to show the hoops world that he's got next. Mason Jones had one of the best seasons of anyone in college basketball this year, leading the SEC in scoring with 22 points per game on 45% shooting. He led the Arkansas Razorbacks in points, assists, rebounds, and steals all season long, oftentimes single-handedly keeping them in the game with multiple 30 and 40 point performances. This includes a 40 point outburst against then number 11 Auburn on primetime and dropping 37 on Tennessee on the road. He put up these numbers in a variety of ways that I feel easily separates him from other players in this class. Some of the moves he pulls off both in transition and in ISO situations are comparable to the NBA's top scorers like Bradley Beal and James Harden, and are the reason that Jones may be the most NBA ready scorer in this draft. Arkansas's streaky season and lack of games in the spotlight has resulted in little to no recognition for Jones. But today, I want to take a deeper look at Mason's skill set and explain why I feel he's the best kept secret of the 2020 class. As I mentioned, Mason Jones is the definition of a pro level scorer. His ability to put the ball in the basket from all three levels of the court is something that very few prospects have before coming into the league. He showed that he is more than ready for the ISO style basketball that has become a staple in the NBA for years, with several moves that allow him to create his own shot both from the mid-range and the three-point line. These include multiple types of step backs and hang dribbles that resemble some of those mastered by the game's best. Jones was consistently able to create whatever space he needed to get a shot off, and did so against double and even sometimes triple teams. His wide variety of ways to score left many teams helpless in some situations, hitting contested jumpers or making defenders pay for closing down too hard and slashing to the hoop. Around the rim, he showed that he's a diverse finisher, being able to use his size to bully his way down low at times and also being crafty when trying to avoid shot blockers. He's great at drawing fouls and at 82% from the free throw line, it gives him endless options when the ball is in his hands. Off the ball, Mason proved to be an effective catch and shoot threat, moving well around screens and finding open space to get off clean looks. Being able to still be an offensive threat without the ball in your hands is something that most great scorers don't learn until later in their careers, but it's something that he seems to have adjusted to quickly. This combination of offensive talent makes opposing defense pick their poison and results in Jones being able to put up big numbers quickly. In the score heavy NBA, there's no doubt Mason would be right at home. When pushing the ball in transition, Jones may be at his best, always keeping the defense on their heels. He thrives in the open court, giving him the space needed to read the defense well and get moving downhill wherever he sees the opportunity. He showed that he's capable of running the floor really well both with and without the ball, and it resulted in a lot of easy scoring opportunities. The NBA is very much a transition league, so being able to push the ball down the court and make a good decision is something that goes a long way for players. Mason isn't an explosive athlete that plays above the rim or beats guys with his speed, but he's proven to know how to use his burst and is very crafty with his handles. Similar to James Harden, Jones utilizes change of pace and direction to beat guys off the dribble, initially moving slow then accelerating when he sees an opening. Many guys in the NBA have proven that this is an effective method that can be successful, and Jones knows how to use his strength to blow past defenders once he gets a step. His ability to read his defender is what opens up his offense, and as he gains more experience at the next level, it'll be what makes him successful. The biggest concern about Jones' game for NBA scouts has been will he be able to guard other players at his position consistently. Considering his size, it's easy to see how it would be difficult for him to stay in front of smaller players, especially if he's ever 
never asked to check the opposing team's point guard. Jones held his own against SEC competition last season, but there were times where you could tell he was gassed from the offensive workload he carried for the team. As he continues to get into NBA shape and adjust to not carrying such a heavy portion of the offense early on in his career, we should see him be able to invest more effort into the defensive end and improve on that side of the ball. When it comes to draft projection, Mason Jones is likely going to be the victim of circumstance. With the college basketball season cut short, he wasn't able to showcase his talent during tournament season, which is when the hoop spotlight would have been brightest. That being said, I feel Jones will most likely go in the late second round or possibly have to go the undrafted route. Plenty of players have proven that that does not mark the end of your career. Jones has all the tools needed to be successful at the NBA level. The question is, what team will give him the opportunity to prove it. I really believe that Jones can be the next great under the radar prospect. He has the skill set, he has the size, and he has the mentality. Now it's just up to one team out there to believe in him too. What's going on y'all? I want to thank you for watching this video. Thank you so much for your constant support. Don't forget to drop a like, leave feedback in the comment section below, and subscribe for more. Remember to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any new content. It really helps me out with the way YouTube's algorithm is set up that you can make sure you see my videos when I put them out. Look forward to a lot of good content coming out in the next couple weeks. I think you're really going to enjoy it and I'm excited to share it with you. Be sure you connect with me on social media. The links will be in the description below. As always, this has been Trice. God bless.